Welcome to the Jeremy Vinny 3D Prints YouTube channel. In this video, I will be unboxing and setting up the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon 3D Printer. This printer, after two weeks of 3D printing, has already changed the way that I print. I used to fail, fail, succeed when printing a new item on my legacy 3D printers, probably due to the fact that I stink at bed leveling. Now, I have mostly only had successful prints with the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon 3D Printer. Now, let me get this thing open. I was impressed with the level of detail and thought that went into the packaging of this printer. The instruction manual guides you through the unboxing and the initial setup for the printer in a way that makes the setup process extremely painless. When setting up a new 3D printer, I usually have to do extensive research on YouTube and various other 3D print forums to make sure that I'm doing everything correct. But for this setup, I didn't need to do any of that. I will speed through the initial setup since it was so simple and not to bore you with the details. If for some reason you have a question, please leave a comment below. First up, we have the printer itself. This sleek aluminum and glass design is sure to look great in any workspace. As we take a closer look at the printer itself, we can see that the build volume is 256 millimeters by 256 millimeters by 256 millimeters, which means it can handle large and complex projects with ease. The Core XY 20 meters per second squared acceleration allows for fast and precise movement, and the seven micrometer LiDAR resolution provides high accuracy for fine details. The LCD screen and control panel are easy to use and navigate, allowing you to easily control and monitor your print jobs. The dual auto bed leveling ensures that your print is always level, which means you'll get the perfect print mostly every time. Here's an example. About two months ago, I went over to Colts 3D and purchased an STL file. The file was called Rift Bowl. This is before I had the X1 Carbon, so I was printing them on my legacy 3D printers. I thought the file would look awesome and it could be used as a potential gift item. I attempted to print the STL once and the print failed around halfway through the print. So I made some adjustments to my 3D printer, did some bed leveling, and I also adjusted the print speed. I made it 50% slower. After trying the print again, same result, failed halfway through. So I basically basically just gave up on the file. When I got my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon all set up, I decided to give the file a try. I didn't slow down any of the settings, I just used stock settings, printed the file, and it came out perfectly. With 3D printing, you want to minimize the potential things that can go wrong in the journey of producing the items that you want. This printer does well at minimizing the potential errors. My legacy 3D printers relied heavily on tweaking and tinkering to get the desired result. The Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon relies less on tweaking and tinkering, so human error is reduced, and the results have been exceptional so far. Congrats to the Bamboo lab team for shaking up the industry in a good way. I will be pushing this system to its limits on this channel, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for updates. Thanks for watching and happy printing.